Hello. Marking click trains in CPOD and FPOD data is a really useful tool that allows you to create a subset of data that you can export and analyze uh, or exclude from export and analysis. So let's um, look at how this is done. So here we've got data from uh, CNOP in Turkey on the, uh, in the Black Sea coast. Um, and you can see from panel three here that you've got dolphins and a lot of porpoise detections. So we will just look at porpoises and we'll illustrate this process by trying to find um, social activity in the porpoises. So if we go to 100 milliseconds, show from start, show next screen. Okay, we want to see. Um, clicks per second um, and amplitude and we've got frequency and amplitude there and when we look at amplitude it will be useful to maybe distinguish different click trains so we've got color click trains by number selected there so um now you, you can see the, the click rates here, the scale's going right up to 700 per second. Um, and the, the uh, colorful display here is showing you um, each train in a different color. So the, the colors don't mean anything except that there are two, two trains. So you can see the gap there that's represented by that. Okay. So if you want to find social activity, the, um, the easiest thing to look for is um, fast click rate trains. So they will give you a lot of detections within one window. So here we've got this set to 800 and the the resolution time rate is 10 milliseconds per pixel and the screen is 25 seconds long. So let's just go forwards and okay, well, this looks quite promising already. So if I put the pointer there and hit the right arrow, okay, so this is really a group of um, of social calls. Um, I'm going to change this to show me clicks per second. Um, yes, because you, you can see in the raw data that you, you've got four, actually five examples of these nice up down sweeps and, um, and a couple of bits that look like fragments of them. Um, You've got a, a slower um, train there and there, which wouldn't be part of the social um, process. Let's just zoom right out. Yeah, so it is just that little group there. So I'm going to zoom, zoom in there. And I can now exclude these by just setting a filter here clicks from say 100 upwards. Okay, so now the way the marking proceeds is you right click, you right click and it says mark this train. Change only the train after the pointer. I didn't position the pointer with any care because I'm gonna go for no, change is all shown. NB all trains must be fully shown. So they mustn't be cut off at the edges of the, the window. So no. Okay. And now you can see these um uh these clicks are now showing this kind of banding because they've been marked. Um and if, if I hit um well I can remove that filter there, and then the um, the slow trains reappear, and they're not marked.
OK, so we go show next screen. OK, there's another um, social event here. So we don't want that one. So I will just look and see what's to the right of this. OK, so that screen as it is captures them all. OK, mark this train. Nope. So they're all marked. So there were 1,327 there. Show next screen. OK, that isn't social behavior, nor is that or that or that. Um, this, that thing, I don't know about. The, these kind of shapes, we don't really know what they represent. Um, so I'm, I'm going forward looking for screens with a lot of clicks on them and looking to see if they see repeated um, repeated shapes that could be social activity. OK, so there's some interesting stuff there. So say I decide I want to mark that. I would zoom in. OK, that does look distinctly repeated. So mark this train, no. And so you go on. So now I can go to um, the analysis page. And we've got 43 million porpoise clicks. But if I do mark trains only, and so this is porpoise is all, all the trains labeled as porpoises. So there's the frequency, number of cycles, click rate, bandwidth, analyze. Um, so it's obviously having to read the whole file which did have 48 million porpoise clicks in it um okay so we've marked 3249 and we've got this distribution of click rates um and these these values so it looks like actually there's some quite long long clicks in the social port. i don't know whether that's like a real finding or not, but this sort of sets you on the track to um, exploring those things. So on the export page, we've got export click details. So um, we could, um, so what I'll do here, is just go to the analysis page. You can actually copy this file name here, which is quite useful. Uh, export um, click details one minute in one. So this is going to respect the filters um, and yeah, put that that file name in. Um, okay, so it's exporting. from that and hopefully <laughs> i haven't managed to pick the wrong file or something there it will okay right so this is a uh, click data exported from there to here so i'm just going to copy that um this is telling me the the headings of the columns so if I um, if I open the file here, open um, I've got the, the whole of that. I can select all that, copy all that, um, get a, a blank um, spreadsheet going here. Drop it in and just quickly zoom down to see how many we've got. Three, two, four, nine clicks. Um, yeah, so click kilohertz. I can um, draw a graph of that and then I can sort those to get a good eye. 
So these very low frequencies here, they are clicks which really didn't come from a porpoise, but got included in the the click trains, and you know, I can delete those. Um, and then that would translate into a nice um, normal distribution um, telling us the the frequency of click trains, etc. So um, marking is like very quick and powerful. Um, if you want to change what you've done, you can go to the files and and you can clear all train marks. So you can clear all the marks you've made in a file. You can even do it from a batch of files. Um, uh, you can do it on individual click trains. So if we, we get rid of that, and I'll just quickly demonstrate that. Show from start. Oh, we better open something. Um, show from start, show next screen. So say I decide I want to mark um, just this slow train here. I go mark this train and I say yes here. So it found the train, the first click after the position of the pointer, it said, okay, that's the train I'm looking for. And it marked all the remaining clicks in that train. So you need to start to the left of the train you're interested in, and then you can um, you can mark that train. Um, so sometimes when you can't easily filter them out, you have to do them one by one like that. Okay, thanks for your attention.